Well, today you join me on the banks of Hen Brook in the middle of St Neots. Earthen fishing, it's been froze, part of it still froze down there, and I'm gonna show you how to catch a lovely bag of roach on this real wild piece of, piece of river really, but it's a brook. Let's get fishing. Well, to kick it off, I'm going to start with one little tiny ball, probably walnut size, a punch crumb. I'm going to pop a couple of, couple of pinkies in there, a couple of fluoro pinkies. They give me the option to put pinky on the hook as well. But that's enough, and if there's fish there with punch, they'll be on it straight away. There we go. Right, you see me put the feed in, one little ball, let's go straight in on it. And I'm convinced it's gonna go under straight away. There's that many roach in this little, little brook contributing to the river ooze. I've laid it in, just to see if we can get a bite straight away. Straight in with a four mil piece of punch. Straight over the ball of feed I put in. I lift it up, I just drop it straight down so the bottom carries down the bottom. Lift it up, hold it afloat so it all straightens out and won't tangle. Then lower it in position and I'm looking for a bite straight away. I'm just off bottom, hoping that's going to go under. There we are, straight away. What could be better than that? That's what I call simply, simply lovely. First put in, beautiful little roach. Probably three ounce fish. And just repeat the process. Drop it down, lift it up, hold it afloat so it straightens out. Lower the floating position. Indication straight away again. Now I'll miss that one. Really on it the fish are. And it should be like that the whole time I sit here. And catch a lovely bag of roach here. And beautiful colour to them as well. Winter roach. I can actually see them bubbling on my feed out there. It's not very deep, probably about three foot deep. Look at that, beautiful roach. Lovely fishing this is. Just about swing it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful fish. It's probably four or five ounce that fish. Real weight builders. I'll only feed again when the bites start to slow up a little bit. So I want to keep them hungry, keep them taking my hook bait. If I find it just tailing off a little bit, then I'll put another ball in.
Beautiful roach. Absolutely pristine condition. All right, let's just run through the baits that I've brought with me for this session on Pembroke. And it's simply medium sliced bread. I just roll it. It's got to be fresh. Four or five slices, cut the crust off. Some people microwave it, but I just like to just roll it if it's fresh bread. Uh, Warburton's medium slice is very good. Tesco Stay Fresh Bread, that's very good. Because it's a very soft bread and it rolls flat and makes a nice pellet. Punch size, four mil punch, spot on. It's very hard, you can go down size, but normally four mil is just about the right size. Um, but bread is just unbelievable when it's cold on rivers, drains, canals. It's just such a bait that just catches fish straight away. Also, got some hemp. Some of the Sonia Bait's natural hemp. Now this is very good because it's soft enough that you don't have to pin it. So if you decide to start fishing hemp, you can just push your hook through the eye and pull it out through where it's split. And it's so quick, so easy. And like if you cook hemp at home yourself, it's very hard, you've got to pin it. Um, very good hemp for the hook. But I'll only put that in, if, I, if the fish was small on punch, I'd put that in to try and get a bigger stamp or push it just past my feed. But I know if I put that in over my punch line, I'll catch on hemp if there's roach there, but it's quicker on the punch. It, and it's just the size, if it's going to get bigger fish on hemp, you'll catch a bigger weight rather than fishing the bread. That's the only thing to determine whether I put the hemp in. And then, always, pinkies. Fluoro pinky, brilliant bait on any venue, any time of the year, not just winter time. I mean, summertime on the rivers, it's fantastic. Um, and that, that's it, sit, very simple. But I could just come here with punch and catch, but bringing hemp, you've got the chance to catch bigger fish if you're not catching bigger fish on punch. If the fish are small, then I'll change it and put some hemp in. But what I wouldn't do is put the punch in and hemp straight away because it's much easier and quicker catching on punch. Right, now I'll just talk you through my rigs. On my first rig, I've got set up two rigs. One what I call light, one what I call heavy. My heavy rig is one of my MP Roach 0.5 of a gram. It's carbon stem. 012 power micron. 16 hook, 4 inch hook length, 08 hook length, and I've got a bulk and three 11 droppers, but over a space of only a foot, and it's probably three, three and a half foot deep. I've set it just off bottom, and my other rig is my MP1s, which is a favourite. My well, favourite pattern of a lot of people, canal, drain fishing. 3 by 10 it's a wire stem. I've got a 08, um, 08 to an 18 on there, 4 inch hook length again, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, number 12 shot, spread out, and then I've got 3 close together like a spread bulk. And that just gives a lighter fall, especially if I change the hemp where you can have it falling through the water. Very simple. Both 012 uh, main line, power micron. Um, number four elastic through the top section, solid elastic. Very simple. This brook, it's called Henbrook, it starts, I know, Essesley that way, it's just a little tiny stream, or well, my knowledge of it is that, and it, it gets gradually wider, and then about another, say, 20 pegs to my 
left, it flows into the River Ouse. Um, and this is probably the widest it is here, probably. It's probably 10 metres wide. It's probably only six metres wide. Um, further upstream, it goes into like a wood. And St Neat's Angling, um, Angling Club have um, really worked hard on it. They've cleaned it out because it had shopping trolleys and God knows what in it. Cleared it out, put pegs in, um, and made it a really go to venue for wintertime fishing for roach. Once the river floods, the fish just push up into here. A bit like the, the old Neen at March. But obviously, this is just a little stream compared to that. Or like a little brook, as it's called, Hen Brook. Um, they fish a lot of matches on here and catch double figure weights. I think they've had some 20 pounds on it. Um, but the roach are a lovely stamp. There's a few pike in here, obviously, there's some predators, a few perch. You'd think there'd be a lot of chub in here because it looks chubby, but I think they get an odd chubs caught, but it's just primarily it's roach, lovely roach fishing. You can catch on punch, hemp, pinky. It's amazing actually bubbling on my feed where they're stirring the bottom up. Must be so many there. Lovely fishing this. Have a nice roach. They're all immaculate as well. Actually, fin perfect. Look at them. Beautiful. But they are like little blocks of ice where it's been very cold. Like I say, it was frozen up until yesterday, I think. We had this cold snap come. You know, where can you go and put a ball of punch in and go straight over it and start catching? It's lovely fishing. I could change it, I could put hemp in, and you'd catch on hemp, but punch is much quicker, and it's the same stamped fish, so... Why bother? Just about swing it. Oh, beautiful fish. Well, look at another lovely roach. Well, I think we'll call it a day. I'll get packed up and let's have a look at what I've caught. There we are, probably over 20 pounds of roach there and a few hours fishing on a tiny little brook, hen brook that runs into Great Ooze urban fishing in the middle of the town. Just shows what there's to be adding, some of these little tiny streams and brooks. Give it a go, get on the punch, catch you on the bank.